All right, folks, welcome back to AWS Simplified. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a step function with an SQS queue. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm here on the console. I'm going to go to SQS to create a queue really quick. Get started. SQS from step function. I'm going to use all the default settings here. I'm going to be using the quick create. Queue is created. One thing that we're going to need from the next step is the URL, not the ARN. So make sure you're getting the URL. Set that aside. All right, that's about it for the queue. Let's head over to the step function. Go into the step function section. I'm going to click on create a new state machine. And we can define our own name here. So step function using SQS. And this is the section where we actually provide the input or the ASL definition. So I prepared something for us here. Let's just take a look at this over here first. So the input to this step function is going to look like this. It's going to be a JSON with transaction ID as the key and something as the value and type as another key and something else as the value. So let's take a quick look at what's happening here. Um, so we have a transaction processor for this. We're going to start at the process transaction step. This is just a pass, but it's a pointer to the next step, which is the broadcast to SQS, which is over here. Uh, this is a task and its resource is the SQS send message API. Uh, the parameters that we're going to be passing into this resource, uh, we need to provide it with a queue URL, which is what we previously got in the last step. So I'm going to fill this out. And then the message body, this is what we actually want to send to SQS. Um, so I want to send a message that looks like my input. So I want my key to be transaction ID and I want my value to be the value of my input. So since it's also transaction ID, that's why we're using transaction ID over here. So what's going to happen is that this whole thing is going to be replaced with ABC and the key is going to be transaction ID. And this whole thing is going to get replaced with purchase. Okay. So let's take this, go over here, paste that in, fresh that. Everything looks good. Let's go get our ARN, copy that, bring that back. We need to put that into the QURL section. Everything looks good here. Click next. And we need to define a IAM role. So step function SQS IAM role or whatever you want to name it. Uh, the neat thing about using step functions in SQS, I've said this in previous videos, is that if it detects that you're trying to use SQS, it'll automatically give you a role that has that permission. So you can see here this role, step function execution role with SQS send message, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that's giving us permission to send to the SQS queue. So it's a kind of neat feature of step functions. Uh, don't need to see this. Tags we don't care about. Let's create the state machine. All right, so state machine is created. Let's do a test run now to see if this works correctly. I'm going to go grab my sample input from over here. Paste that in. Start execution. It's running. Let's give this a second here. And eventually it succeeded. That's great. You can see our input to this step was what we passed in. Our output was a confirmation message with a 200 OK. Let's go back to SQS to verify the message is actually in the queue. And we can see message available is one. That's great. Let's just pull this queue really quick to see what our output is. And there we go. So we got exactly what we put in. Thanks so much for watching, folks. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments that you may have, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.